watching Vapor Scenes and Vapor Trails TV. Well, good evening, good evening. How are we all? It is nine o'clock and it is Tuesday the 22nd of October 2013. Just glancing across there to make sure I got the date right. Um, because yes, next week is the 29th, obviously. Uh, yes, good evening. I hope you are all well and I hope you are all vaping. Lots of lovely things out there. I've got some um, grape juice in here, which is rather nice, along with my pomegranate juice. Um, we have got a couple of things coming up tonight. We've got Show Is Yours in part two. Uh, we're going to look at the iTaste MVP version two uh, very shortly. Um, that little fellow you saw just as I started um, was a guy I met in Mexico, a fellow vapor uh, who works at uh, Coco Bongos. And if you've ever heard of Coco Bongos, but it is a completely manic place to go for a night out when you go uh, to Mexico. <laughs> it's totally bonkers. Uh, so if you do ever go to the Yucatan Peninsula and you go anywhere around the Ryu hotels, hotels uh, in Playa Gar, take some juice uh, and uh, check out, uh, I can't remember what his name is now. <laughs> I'll think of his name. Uh, forgotten it. Um, and um, it'll come back to me. Yeah, take some juice. Um, he was uh, desperate for juice because he's finding it really difficult getting it over there. Uh, and uh, I met quite a few fellow vapors. Uh, I met uh, some people from Leicester, so hello, big Chris, uh, and the uh, the Welsh posse, the Welsh farmers, uh, who I also met. They were out there, so quite a few English folk, English folk, Welsh, and there was about uh, about four Mexicans as well that I discovered in the hotel. So uh, not too bad. Anyway, let's crack on with the show, uh, and uh, I suppose we better do the uh, the opening titles. So here they are. This scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, good evening and welcome to this Tuesday's Vapor Scene. Um, Lewis, it's Lewis Luna, <laughs> my little friend from Mexico. <laughs> Lewis Luna. Now you'll never forgive me for forgetting his name. And it was actually on the video. Uh, what can I say? Anyway, Lewis Luna from Mexico, that was at the very top. Um, and it took him, I don't know, 15 attempts <laughs> to say you're watching Vapor Scene on VaporTrails.tv. But we got there in the end-ish. Um, yes, so there you go. Oh, calm down. Uh, yeah, so let's start off with a little bit of news. Uh, and I saw this earlier um, on the Twitter feed because uh, Silurian C had uh, tweeted and I had a little look and I was just, I was gobsmacked at this story and you probably all know it by now, um, but it is Linda McAvan. Oh yes, our Linda. Uh, and it would appear that um, somebody who is known to her quite a lot has been asking questions in her little web session. Um, and it turns out that this person is more than likely this person um, who worked on web design or something like that in the European Union um, and is pictured with Linda above. Now, what is all that about? What is all that about? I have to say that the web chat that she did after the, the vote on the 8th, um, the whole of the VTT TV team uh, were desperately trying to ask questions and every single one of us couldn't get a question through, bizarrely. And it was only when we logged out and logged back in as a guest that the same question went through. And we thought, hmm, it's a little bit strange. Yes, you can read into that what you like. I'm not saying anything, but you can read into it, whatever you like. But it was a little bit strange that the same question got through when it wasn't our Facebooks um, that were putting that question up. 
But uh, if this is true, what has been happening here, uh, then um, somebody needs to look into it, don't they? And as uh, Lorian quite rightly says there to the EU Ombudsman, in the interest of transparency, we, the constituents of Europe, ask that you investigate this. Uh, and uh, yes, that's been retweeted many times. Uh, and I hope that it does get investigated and I hope something comes out of it because let's not forget what happened with the old BBC scandal with uh, people phoning in on Blue Peter for questions for competitions and stuff like that and the whole thing that happened with transparency of all that kind of thing. Um, we need the same transparency with our politicians, don't we? Yes, we certainly do. Anyway, that was my little bit of news there this week. Uh, I didn't have time to get everything tonight. It's been quite busy uh, with work and stuff. Um, so we're going to look now at the old iTaste MVP. Uh, and I've done a short video um, in relation to this. I actually did quite a long video. Uh, and then after I'd recorded it all, I found that halfway through my batteries had died on my microphone. <laughs> So there's no sound. So I've kind of got what I can <laughs> from what was there. Uh, and actually, it's probably long enough. So uh, here it is. It's the, uh, the iTaste MVP. So here we are with the iTaste MVP version 2 from Inikin. Uh, this was sent to me very kindly by UK eSig store. Uh, and you'll notice a different thing because normally the MVPs uh, by Inikin come in a plastic presentation box, um, but these have been branded for UK eSig store. They still do have the the Wii code that you can uh, scrape off and then check that it's a genuine product on the Inikin website. Um, and this just slides open thus. So we'll just get rid of the top section and we are left with the box of goodies. And as you can see, you get your MVP you get uh, an iClear 10, a beautification ring, and you also get a 5ml bottle of juice in this box. Uh, also underneath, if I just take that off, you will see that you get the instruction book, which is uh, very good. Tells you everything you need to know uh, about how to use your device. I find that Inikin's instruction is actually quite good. Um, Others are not so bad. Um, this also comes with the Wii <laughs> disposable of batteries and electronic uh, electrical equipment um, details, which a lot of stuff doesn't come with, but it is quite important because you can't just throw batteries in general household waste. You need to actually take them somewhere that deals with them properly because of the chemicals that they do contain. So rather pleased that that is uh, coming with that. Uh, and then you also get just a very straightforward pictorial card. It's not really card, it's quite, it's paper, but uh, a little instruction thing uh, which tells you how to actually fill your uh, iClear 10. Um, but uh, we shall come back to that. And then finally you get your multiple device charging cable. So this is used to actually charge your MVP. Uh, and you can also then use it to charge other devices, such as an iPad or an iPhone. Not the new iPhones, but the older iPhones and the older iPads. Um, you can use that for Samsung. Uh, and then you've got a larger USB connection there for other devices that still have the larger um, micro USB as opposed to the very small micro USB connection. So uh, I've got two of these now, which is good, uh, and I use this quite a lot. Um, and as I said, just like the original MVP, you can actually use this bottom section here, plug in your USB cable um, and charge away. But we'll come back to that in a second. So let's move this out of the way for now. Move this out of the way for now. And we'll just take a better look at the device itself. And let me, in that case, zoom in. So, there we go. A little bit too much. There we go. As you can see, it looks very similar to the original MVP. Uh, it's branded with the UK eSig store 
on the back. Uh, and this is kind of a brushed aluminium finish. Uh, it does come in two different finishes. Um, it comes in the brushed aluminium and also a gunmetal, I believe. Uh, I'll just double check that on the website. Um, it does come in metal grain black. There we go. Metal grain black or rugged steel. Yes. Uh, and I'll put some pictures up uh, down here somewhere, down here or around about. Um, and you can see the different variations um, that you can get. But there's basically two. There's the, uh, the metal grain black, which is this one, and the rugged steel. Uh, and then it's a nice steely colour on the top with your Ego threading and 510 connections. Um, the other difference that you will see compared to the original MVP is the button. The fire button is now standing proud um, on the device instead of being slightly recessed on the device. The display is in the same place but it now does different things. This is now variable wattage and variable voltage, and it will also indicate to you what the resistance of your device that you have on the top is, uh, which is very handy. And let's face it, most of the new devices that are around today that are variable wattage and are variable voltage now also show you what the resistance is, um, which is a very good thing. A very good thing indeed. Um, this is charged. It's a 2,600 milliamp battery, um, and I'm still using my original MVP, uh, and I still use it to charge from uh, in emergency cases, um, which is it's a very good thing indeed. Uh, it's the three click, three click on, and you get the little flashing lights, and then you're ready to go. Green light for good power, amber light when it's running out, red. It's going to fail, <laughs> just like all the other Anakin devices. Red, amber, and green, which is good. You then have the display, and we'll look at that now. So when you press a, you, one of the buttons, you will see the puff count. And that, at the moment, is one. Let me zoom right into it, and then you will get a better look. There we are. Get it in shot. So it's very difficult to uh, get it in there so you can see it and not get the reflection off my lights. Um, the uh, first press will give you your puff count and you can see there one. You press it again it will then give you if you're on variable voltage or variable wattage and as you can see there it goes all the way up to 5 and then it goes round from 3.3 and back up to 5. So it's 3.3 volts to 5 volts, as opposed to going all the way up to 6. So you press the P button, and that will give you a puff count. Press it again, it will then give you the wattage. You need to be quick. So puff count, and then the wattage. And that then cycles around from 5 to 11. Actually from 6 to 11. So it goes from 6 watts to 11 watts, and from 3.3 .3 volts to 5 volts. And obviously, every time you press your 5 button, doesn't matter how long for, you don't get the actual seconds of your puff, um, but you will see that this that does increase. So it's gone up by 2, because I've pressed it twice. So there you go, let me just zoom out again. Very quick um, run through of what the MVP does in normal circumstances. So there you go, uh, and the rest of it was with no sound. <laughs> but I did go on to say uh, that if you, uh, if you press both the buttons together, it gives you the resistance, uh, which is what the MVP V1 didn't do. Uh, so press your two buttons and it tells you what the resistance of your devices. Uh, and I have to say, I do like my kind of squarey boxy mods. Um, I do like the MVP. I prefer the button, the fire button on version one, as opposed to this one. Maybe because I've got big thumbs. I don't know. And it'd be nice if the button was on the side for me. Um, but uh, 
Yes, rather like it. And it is an iClear 30. <laughs> it does say in the, in the blurb, the filling blurb you get in the box, that it's a, an iClear 10. And I kind of had that in my mind while I was going through it. Um, yes, but it is an iClear 30 you get with it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's very nice. And the juice that I got, kind of a tobacco-y juice. Um, I might review that in the car on Thursday when I go to the northeast. Um, but uh, yes, I was talking there in chat um, during that, and I've got that as well, which is the uh, Pistola, um, which is a, a mechanical mod. Very nice, I have to say. We'll look at that uh, on a future show. Uh, and also the VTR, um, which is indeed a fingerprint magnet, but it is such a lovely device. So we'll be looking at that as well. Okay, it's just coming up to 16 minutes past. So we're going to go into the ads. When we come back, we're going to look a bit at uh, DIY juice mixing and we'll have this week's show as yours. So I will see you, my friends, in two minutes. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And welcome back to part two. <laughs> Ah, oh dear, I was looking in chat there. Um, the kind of ads should be the same as the rest of me. Uh, sometimes it goes a bit off kilter, um, but there you go. Uh, last week I thought I was a little bit too quiet, so I've turned my volume up slightly. Um, so, uh, excuse me if you got blasted through there. Um, yes, I was looking in chat as well during the break, um, and someone made a comment about, has anyone heard from their MP? Well, I'm seeing my MP on Friday, uh, who has um, said that he would table a question in the Commons. So I shall report back, I shall do a little bit of VT. I'm not allowed to video the conversation, unfortunately, but I can fill you in on what's said. Um, so that'll be next week, because uh, I'm seeing Dan on Friday. He's an awfully nice chap, I have to say. Met him before, as you know. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what his views are, given what's been going on over the past few weeks. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do the mixing video first, and then we'll finish off with show as yours. So uh, this is kind of a it's a bit of a mish up from uh, what I did previously because we are seeing a lot of new people coming on now, uh, and with the juice situation, um, maybe people are going to want to start mixing their own more than uh, than 
relying on shop. Um, I use both, as you know. Um, so, um, yes. Let me know, kind of, as it's going through, if you want the next part of it next week um, or the week after. Um, you may or may not. So I shall go with, uh, I'll go with what you fancy. So uh, I'll see you in a mo. So I've got a, a few things here, um, and I'm just going to start with the obvious. You need nicotine, uh, and this is a litre bottle, not much left, um, but this is a litre bottle of 75 milligram strength e-juice, and I got, actually got this from the States, I got this from Nick Vape um, in the States. I do have another litre, <laughs> which I haven't opened yet, and what I do, because that is a big bottle, what I do is I put it into a smaller bottle, and this used to contain um, some 36 that I bought from another vendor in the UK. Um, so it's got a nice childproof cap, and I've just labelled it up to say exactly what it is. It's 75 milligram nicotine, uh, and to take caution. Um, so that's what I do. I decant it into a smaller bottle for for use. Um, so to mix that, you're going to need either some VG or some PG or some PEG. Um, I always use VG, and what I use is this, and this comes from Boots. It used to be 99p. <laughs> now it's about one pound twenty-nine, um, and I bought ten bottles of this a while ago. Um, when it was 99p and you need to mix that down because it is quite thick so that's 200 millilitres uh, and I generally mix it down with vodka and it's the red label vodka and I won't turn it round because on a different video I did for my YouTube channel um, I had issues because I was showing that brand um, so I won't do that this time um, so I use this vodka I have just ordered um, two litres of vegetable glycerine from eBay and I've also ordered a litre of distilled water which worked out quite expensive, worked out about six quid um, for a litre. However, I'm going to go as pure as I can now um, having seen what was in that other stuff. Nasty. You might also need some bottles to decant into. Again, these come from eBay. I got five of these for a fiver. 250 mil uh, and what I tend to do is either mix up my glycerine into one of these or I'll use a bottle that I've already used and then mix it into there which is what I've done and that in this case this is already diluted um, but what I do is also mix up this is the mix that I make for my wife and all I do is add the flavour to that. So it's pre-mixed nicotine and um, dilutant. Um, and then I just add the flavourings. So that's another thing you can do. The other things you're going to need are some things to measure with. Now these are little measuring cups. And these go up to 100 millilitres. I've got some smaller ones. These ones. And these go up to 15 millilitres. And I've also got ones in between. Uh, you can get these at lots of different places. I actually got these at the same time as my uh, Enic from um, Richard Nick Vape in the States. Uh, so I hadn't seen these anywhere else. So they're quite good because you can mix into those uh, and then transfer into your bottles. And talking about bottles, you're going to need some. So you can buy 5ml bottles. You can't really see that, can you? You can buy 5ml bottles. You can buy 10ml bottles. You can also buy 30ml bottles, uh, and I got a job lot of these in the three different sizes. I haven't got 30ml to hand, um, but what I generally do when I get a new flavour is I mix a 5ml bottle. And of course, you can reuse bottles that you've had other juice in, just give it a wash out. Um, give it a wash out in hot soapy water, and then plenty of rinses in hot water, and you've got a nice bottle and if you soak them you can get the labels off which is a, a bonus so you don't need to buy bottles um, I just find it easier and what I do is I'm just grabbing some that I've made previously these are samples that I've made up 
So when I get a flavour, I make up a five milliliter sample. And they've gone really dark now because these are quite old. Um, and sometimes I'll get people to try them for me. So I will put a number as opposed to what it is and I'll ask them, go on, tell us what it is, <laughs> just for a laugh. Um, and then I can keep track of those. Just smelling one now. Um, root beer. Extremely interesting taste. So measuring wise, you've got your measuring cups, but you also need syringes really. Um, and I find it better to buy them from the same place. So these ones here, they've got a BD on them. These all came from the same batch. So five mils on here should equal five mils on here and five mils on there. But because this is a different company, I can't really guarantee that five mils on here is going to equal five mils on there. So it's very important that you do test uh, if you're going to use syringes, um, that what it says is correct. Uh, and the three sizes I use generally are the 10 mil, 5 mil, and 2.5 mil, all graduated. So this is graduated in 0.5 of a mil, this is graduated in 0.1 of a mil, and this is also graduated in 0.1 of a mil. So 2.5 should equal 2.5 on there, because that's the same company. And hopefully, if you fill up 5 millilitres on there and squirt it into here, it should equal the same. So check that everything equals the same before you start. You can also get big ones. <laughs> this is a 60 mil one. Um, and I use that to uh, mix up a load of premixed juice. Um, and again, this is the same company, so these should all equal the same. So the last thing you're going to need is some flavours. And they come from all the different vendors, have got lots of different flavours. Um, I've got a couple here. This is one from Liberty Flights, which is a perfumer's apprentice. Um, this is one from Health Cabin in China, uh, and that's coconut. Um, this is also one from Health Cabin that I got, <laughs> and that's almond, because I like almond. Um, but it's 115 mils, so you can buy them in 10 mils, you can buy them in 5 mils, uh, and you can get them in 115 and 100 mils. And the UK vendors also do this size of flavouring. So that's basically what you've got to start with. You need nicotine you need a dilutant such as vegetable glycerine or propylene glycol and you need flavoring that's pretty much what you need to start off so there you go that was the kind of introduction the basics on uh, on DIY mixing and and the stuff i was talking about the gunky stuff was the deionized water that i'd bought and it had gone all gunky so i stopped using it uh, and I now use this distilled water. Um, you can use distilled water, you can use vodka, uh, up to you. Um, but uh, I like to keep it as pure as possible now. Now I'm going to go over. Um, so we're going to go straight into, uh, oh, this week's show is yours. But as chat, I've just said uh, you'd like the rest of the uh, videos in that. I will edit them down a little bit and we'll have those, not every week, but, you know, every other week, something like that. Um, okay, let's go into this week's show is yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's show is yours gallery. And thank you to people who are sending photos in. Uh, and this week's winner is it's Quack J. Now, I'm not sure what your proper name is, Quack J, but uh, <laughs> there you go. Nice little wooden mod there um, with beer. And we all like beer and vaping. So uh, well done, Quack J. I'll be emailing you after the show uh, and you will uh, find out how to get your juice. And get some photos into me, guys. Vapor scene at vapertrails.tv by Tuesday at 12 o'clock and they will appear in that week's video. Uh, and then you could go into the mix for a bottle of juice courtesy of John over at Flavor Art UK. I have gone over time, I know. Um, so uh, I'm just going to tell you about tomorrow's VT Talk with Dave and Sav. Um, he's going to be kicking some MEP booty, um, discussing lots of uh, important issues hmm, that are uh, important to us right now. And also, uh, he's got an idea for effective campaigning. So that's going to be a wicked show tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Don't forget, of course, that Dave is back with Keith. Maybe his pocket is going to be sewn up, I don't know, on Thursday with the Haze Hour. Uh, Dave will be here, Dave Kitson that is, with uh, Dave Tucklebox on Sunday at 9. Monday at 9, it is the boys with Tin Your Tip. And I will be back next Tuesday with uh, all sorts of what have you and uh, also an update of what happens on Friday with my MP. Don't forget, if you're a German speaker, stay tuned for DE Talk, which is coming up in about 10 minutes on this very channel. In chat, you will see the link. I will see you next week. Until then, be fun, have fun, be good, vape, and, and watch the shows. See you soon. is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>